enough of other things we can we can we can wait and see. But what what else do we have? To say, Christina, you, when you're here, it's often with a with a serious. No, I'm here just to listen today. I'm, okay. I'm here to see her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a uh, star architecture, Jane Jacobs paper. So, um, do, do you have do you have a couple of specific things you want to talk about here today, or, or not so much? Um, I took three photographs and I created two maps um, of the neighborhood, and I did regressions with a feature variable. Sent you the uh, first complete draft of your thesis. Um, Fantastic! Congratulations. So uh, probably not much until I hear back from you. Okay, great. <laughs> I've got I've got a I got a tax form or something for you. So don't oh, don't, don't run off until you. Uh, if I don't find it right here, re re remind me about that. Um, okay, we got Trump. Uh, on. Ben, any anything? I mean, you, you've been our advisor, consultant, par excellence, and we're happy to have you here to do that. If there's any, anything else you want to add to the agenda? Uh, perhaps about the, the Trump uh, analysis, okay. but we'll, we'll feel the... Let me add one more thing that you and I have talked about that, that, <laughs> we, that we put on the agenda, and then it's been back, back burnered for months. I got an email this week from Shihiro Shimizu. Yes who's our lead Japanese scenes man. And he says, and he said in the next month, I will assemble with my key assistant a new Japanese data set and send it to you. Mm. So there, I mean, when he says that, uh, he's gonna do it. Okay. So, so if we want to give them specific variables, and I'm, I guess I'm looking to Eastern for, I mean, probably Korea is the main, the main case here. That is, China we would love to match with, but we don't have, well, well, well. We should we should probably send. I mean, Jonathan's already done this. You've got you've got roughly a thousand variables for China. I'll, I'll mention this for our Wuhan. But that is, you could do a case study of Wuhan, and then look at some of these same processes across all of China. And over 20 years, we've slowly assembled Chinese data, but it is not as far as along as is Korea. And so, so there's the Korea data, the Korea, and the Korea data in the last two years have become much more accessible. And this, and they, they came together in your, in your PhD with, the, with some census joined with the Yellow Pages data, and these, these are now excellent, ex excellent data for Korea and cross-national purposes. So in that sense, you're, you probably are the strongest model for which Japanese data do we want? And the Japanese would like to be able to compare with, ideally, China, Korea, and the rest of the world. And so, if we can, if there's, the, if there's a way, if we could sort of find that that is one of the, the simplest things we could send them. We could send them a list of variables that Jonathan has assembled for China. We can send, we can send them maybe just, I mean, a list of your variables for 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 for, for Korea and France and the U.S. And I, I mentioned your thesis for, for them to look at as an example and for the data, but maybe thinking about I mean, what, what, how can we send them, if we have one assistant who, does, who doesn't, she's not here, he or she's not here, was she two years, I don't know if it's the same person or not, <coughs> um, a way to easily sort of see, ideally, if we had an Excel file listing the same variable and say here it is for France, US, China, Korea, and, and that's what Helen Ho did a couple of times, and we've, we've sent that to them on an earlier basis, but that's now superseded by what, by what, by what, by what you've done, so maybe, maybe sort of putting together, that, uh, say, one of Helen Ho's last best, last best Excel files, plus these newer files listing, li listing your data, it's, it's probably, I, mean, we don't, I don't think we have anybody who has time to, 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 put, to pull these all together now, unfortunately. Um, but um, 
I'm thinking out loud of how we can best communicate what we want to the Japanese who want to work actively <coughs> right, right now. Christina, any advice on that? I mean, that's a, in your, I, I, you, you have a half Japanese name, so or you have a real Japanese name. So, <laughs> uh, but any thoughts on in terms of, of, of how to convey this to me? I, mean, I ask her because she's, she's, we've gone through the same thing about six times with, with Brazilians. And you, she's then gone to Brazil, you met with census people, you met with people from yeah. the university, you met with researchers, and she's come back and she's not working on Brazilian data mm -hmm. at all. So that I mean, that's how frustrating it, yes. it, can, it can be. So so we don't want to put too many eggs in one basket. We don't want to raise our but even mm -hmm. for Japan, uh, I mean, Japan has probably got the best data of any of the countries in the world. They've got all kinds of things that we don't have anywhere else. So. someone else doing an audio? I'm doing the audio right here. Okay, great. Thanks. Then. So it also shows which cafe still exists or um, other cafes uh, closed down or something like this. So we can also trace uh, the history of the cafe as well and compare the areas where traditional cafes still exist or Starbucks dominate those areas. Okay. I know, uh, I mean, because of that example and because of Martha's identifying this and Martha's just sent a new a new paper today about not just the cafe but the traditional institutions the, the shop <coughs> of, of the small towns in France and that that kind of life uh, is disappearing in is I mean that's a that's a that's a big interesting goal I mean this links to globalization this is her, her, her PhD talk so so joining those in ways that we, and the, I mean, the American counterpart of that is not the census, it's not the yellow pages, it's the DDB. Uh, sorry, the uh, Dunn and Bradstreet. Dunn and Bradstreet data has that, they don't have it on a qualitative basis, but they do have a quantitative, they, they have, that is they have births and deaths of individual firms, which you can't get from the, from, from, from the, from the census model. The census tells you how many cafes were there in 1970, 1980, 1990, cross-sectional, you know, over time cross-sectional data. They don't know, is it the same cafe or not? And, and that's why David Birch came along, just as I said briefly in, in class today. David Birch came along and he got the, the, the Dun & Bradstreet data and he then reanalyzed it, compared it to the census and he got a completely different story. So you look at the census and you say, well, we got, you know, we got, uh, you know, we got 700 cafes in Chicago in 1970, in 1980, 1990, and so the cafe population is constant. What that does not show is that half of them quit, retired, went bankrupt, were bought out, and then another, you know, half of them were came in and completely started fresh. And so this continual turnover in 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 lots of of that is in the economy of much of the entire world this is going on and nobody knew this until David Birch identified it about, 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 about 25 years ago. And so, so, and so it has huge public policy investment, uh, risk capital, you know, where do you go if you're in the labor market? Can you expect that your job is gonna be there? No. Now maybe, you're, maybe the firm will take you along with it, but it's